Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We've got the sower over there, cult the cultivator sower, we'll say, up and running again. I did switch the warrior out for the Massey Ferguson, so because this has got the uh, 280 horsepower engine in it. It's got the big one now. So we'll let the, the warrior finish this field. Let's take this one. Hmm. Should have put the weight on that one. Yeah. Well, he seems to be doing just fine without it. Hmm. Let's watch this corner. I can get up a little higher. There we go. Let's see what he does. Though I'm not... Tell you what, let's teleport over there real quick. Um, I think it's this one? Yeah. What are we doing here? It doesn't really make sense that he would need it. At what stage would you need the weight? don't know. I can't imagine the, the need for it. Are these tractors four-wheel drives or twos? I can't tell if there is a, uh, a gearbox in there between those wheels. Or is it just steering mechanisms? Hmm. If it was front-wheel drive as well, then you'd want to wait in here to make sure you've got lots of grip on the front, just like the wheel weights are doing on the back. And that would make sense. Hmm. Okay, well, let's jump back over here. And just assume that they're going to be doing fine. Let's drop, drop off at the, uh, the farm and, and get rid of this weight. Because I want to do something a little fun right now. Let's see, we're going for this one? Yeah. Hello. I didn't turn where I was supposed to. <laughs> Alright, let's get back in cap. There we go. But let's go grab that setup of the plow and cultivator and sower and extra seed storage. Actually, that is the seed storage, not extra. That particular sower, I don't believe, has a, uh, a reservoir. Let's put this guy away, because I'm going to need to use the front. And we're putting the big weight over here in this corner right now. Something like that. Eh, close enough. Now, this one I can lower down, and then drop it off. Let's head over to the store. All right. You guys are both going to block me, aren't you? I'm sneaking in right there. Still have these guys over here to deal with. But won't be able to this trip. Let's pull into here. That's what I'm thinking about. He's going over and talking to James Harris, who owns these three fields here. This one is cultivated, not planted with anything, and needs plowing. So that seems like a reasonable use for that new setup. But, uh, and also, we've, uh, we've negotiated pretty well with him. We've got our prices pretty much down to rock bottom. So, let's do something like that. That one. All right. So, we're talking about grabbing this guy. No choices. To connect to this guy. Right. DC-401. Yep. And the BTF-400 is the sower. So, select this one. Okay, and then sowers swing out into this, into, into Coonland here. This guy. Now, he doesn't seem to have any means of storage in and of itself, right? There would be a sense of, of um, oh, what's the symbol I'm looking for? This symbol right here, 1500. 1500, boy, that's not much at all. Wow. Okay. Compared to, well, 2,500. Okay, so 15 is more than I'm thinking. What have we got right now? We've got this guy at 1,200. And we've got also... Was he one of the mods at the end? Not that one. 
What's in our garage right now? You think about that. I want to say it's this one. Yeah, it's right there. That one's 3100. That's a lot. Okay. Anyway, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's grab this one. Select buy. I can hear a train coming through off in the distance. Maybe this mic will pick a little bit of it up. We'll see. It's been snowing here for a long time. Did I do that right? Buy. Yes. And the snow up on the roof helps to insulate against sound. So, but we've had a few days of pretty warm temperatures, so I am guessing that that snow has melted off and my sound barrier has gone away. So I'm starting to hear the train again. I haven't heard him since, uh, since the fall, it seems like. Anyway, let's grab this guy first. I should have grabbed some more seed. Let's see, there's 601 and probably about 700 total in seed over there right now. Hmm. We'll fill up all of this first. Anyway, this guy connects here. And then these arms over here connect to the front of him and allows the controls from the tractor to transfer through into... Where am I at? Right there. Into this guy. Kind of fun. And we've still got a PTO takeoff over here and more connections to grab this guy. So the yellow shaft there, drive shaft, transfers right through this whole mechanism. Out the, it sends power out the back end. Into... I don't know if I can see it. Now there's a port in that guy that's going to plug right into. Anyway, let's connect these guys up. Interesting. Can I lower that down? I cannot. That's kind of an awkward grab. Anyway, Q... Yeah, kind of. Okay. No. I expected a drive shaft to be going out there to run this guy. Interesting. So what powers him? What powers the pump right there? Maybe it's mechanical off the wheels. Maybe the wheels are somehow driving a, a gear somewhere. Interesting. Alright, you up in the air? And let's go grab the... Which direction is he from? This side or that side? I think this side. Not a lot of space behind me, so... Yeah, that's about as far as I want to go. Yeah, there's a lot of weight back there. I turned the wheels and it kept going straight. Interesting. Alright, that puts our weight in there. Let's... Grab both of these at the same time. Something more like that. Alright, R, filler up. And R, filler up. Alright, there's 500 out of 15. Ah, oh, we're going to get 1499. That's interesting. We're actually going to fill up the entirety of one more of these. You, buy, okay, yes, and back, back, and back, and yes, and okay, and Yes, ma'am. All right, right in there. And grab that one. So that should take us to 14.99, if I'm remembering correctly. This does 1,500, and it should do the field that I'm thinking of. Yeah, there we go. All right, cover that up, and we're ready to transport. Let's put some beacons on. And let's go. Let's head over to tw uh, to field 24 and talk to him about that field. Kind of clear? Boy, that's a horrible blind spot. Yeah, we're clear. I cannot see what's right behind that post. The warrior didn't seem to have that problem. This post was much further back. Though the sound is almost identical to the Massey Ferguson. I was listening to it. All these little clickety noises also are built into it. I kind of wonder if they didn't grab the same sound file. Let's get off this middle lane here, this uh, right lane here, where someone pours out of the uh, uh, the side road there. But this first field is kind of small, so it should be no problem 
with uh, with this quantity. Is this a one on one, right? No, I want the next turn. Need to get gasoline in this guy soon. In fact, I think there's a station right up in there. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Maybe there's one more turn into the town. There it is, the field over there that's got the black soil in it. Right near home, too. This would be some good fields to own. In fact, let's head in this direction. And we can't pull into there, or it won't let us even interact. Alright, so let's talk to, uh, to James Harris here. Hi there. You got a minute? I'm kind of in a bind. A couple of our regular guys didn't show up this morning. Now, I was going to have to sew have them sow a field, but if you can handle it, I'd just as soon get you to do it rather than wait on them. Just swing on by when you're ready, and I'll set you up with everything you need. 8400 work for you? Well, I'm thinking that we're going to buy this field from you. I'll offer you almost $70,000. What do you say? Deal. Buy. Okay. This is now ours. Yippee! Beacons off, and what do we put in here? That's not it. Try the one next to it. There we go. What do we want to put in there? Now, potatoes and beets up in here. I'm thinking we do want to get five one of these days for one massive wheat field. When we finally buy all of our harvesters, maybe like the grand finale of the series, harvesting from the one-third marks. Now yeah, they'll probably all turn into each other, won't they? <laughs> well, I may have to take two passes back and forth to establish what is your territory, but uh, three harvesters going and a couple of monster tippers rolling through here, filling them all up. Yeah, we'll see. That might be kind of fun. 20 would do that as well. Be nice to have a cell point nearby, though, so we don't have to try to get back to the silos and store it. Anyway, so beets and potatoes in this area. What is in this area? It's soy right now, but eventually this could all be sunflower. Corn, I'm thinking down here next to the uh, next to the cattle, and we'll chaff it out to uh, to go ahead and fill up this silo. That'd be a good project to do. Maybe pick up both these fields and do that. We'll see. So what is happening in this area? Hmm. We've dumped all of our barley. So that sounds reasonable right now to get that built up again. When we do get into pigs, we're going to want to, uh, you know, f I don't know, 5,000 of everything out of here. We can still almost do that. Everything but the barley at this moment. Okay. Let's do that. So pack this guy kind of realign here don't take out the, the, the street sign there something like that that looks pretty good back up now well, let's hire this one out though I want to set it for barley so that's a Y didn't work why didn't it work let's get off of the front let's go to that guy right there Y didn't work because he's the last one G G now try it again ah barley so the first thing it's going to drop is the plow then I'm guessing he's going to move forward a little bit and then the cultivator is going to drop in then move forward a little bit then the sower is going to drop in that's my guess let's see how that looks I'm going to hire him out and see what happens sinks right into there and starts yeah Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> and this means that the plowing should not miss anything because it isn't a big, long diagonal coming off the back end. That's my guess. We'll get down to the end and come back, then we'll look at the map and see if the red's disappearing. If not, then I don't know what to do. But it, it, theoretically, I mean, you can see it happening. And the description seemed to talk about it taking the place of the plowing. So I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. So 
was 1500 enough for this field? That's the big question. Might not be a bad idea to uh, to uh, use an idea that Klaus gave me a long time ago. Pick up one of those low trailers, fill it full of of uh, pallets of uh, fertilizer and and seeds, and then drive it out to the field. And then, as these need it, you can drive over and just you know, load up from that uh, that trailer. He's doing some slipping. Look at that. 280 horsepower, wheel weights, and he's still having a little bit of trouble. Probably because of the plow. Now we can pull the plow out of there if we wanted to. We don't have to have the plow in this setup. We could just have this guy in front and this guy in the back and skip all that process completely. Though we'll always need to cultivate before we seed, so that's... No, we won't because we'll have the one over in field 13. Okay. We're going far enough now where we should be able to see what's happening here. So we're down in here, and we're turning blue. Although that could be the same as that up there. That red is not going away, is it? It's not. We'll let the tractor in behind the scene here go ahead and make his U-turn. Though I kind of want to see what he does to that, uh, that sign. No, we're good there. And he left one little spot there without seed. Tiniest little black spot. Anyway. He thinks he's done. <laughs> I don't think so. Get back to work. Okay. What is that little thing there? Why is it doing that? I expected this to, all this red to be going away, but this isn't a very white implement. Maybe that is accurate. Let's give it a few passes and see what it looks like when he gets out into here before I make a judgment on that. But um, pull out of here. Let's grab Uber and head over to here and see how we're doing. All right, we're still doing our job over here. It does take quite a while. Take a couple of episodes to do this field. But plenty of room to make our turns. So this quantity over here was actually a little overkill. We could have done with less. So probably four passes down here would have been enough. And two up there. So we'll kind of keep that in mind for next time. But otherwise, this is working great. I'm really liking this. I like this coon equipment. I do. Feels like we're fancy farmers now. <laughs> now these hired hands they're experts at this they've gone to school and they know exactly what they're doing they don't need those little zone markers right here yeah, they don't need them at all they're, they got GPS in their head or they're actually using the, uh, the GPS controls right actually I don't know if that's GPS or not don't think that is it might be one of those might be a GPS system I don't know. There is a mod you can get for GPS. It'd be kind of nice if by the time we get to Farming Simulator 19 that isn't built in to every tractor that's capable of it. I mean, that should be a, more of an automatic thing rather than a mod. And something a lot less complicated than the mod that is out there. There's got to be a better way to do that mod. There's a lot of programming and memorization to get that to work. That's why I've kind of stayed away from it. But it would be very interesting to have you know, over on the other side of the keyboard, you know, the, the U, I, J, K, L, N, M, that kind of that area, be able to, to do something like a more complicated system like GPS, and then switch back over to the W, A, S, D, and continue. But help a race complete their task. He's having a hard time over there. All right, toggle over. I think you're having problems with this little row right here. I think that's what's going on. So I'm just going to... Keep you going. Nope. You're just freaking out big time, aren't you? All right. Let's give you a little guidance here. This one flunked that helper school. Yeah, this one's driver training here. Farmer training is a program. So hire you out. 
Actually, unhire. Let's do something here. Let's defeat this little problem. I didn't didn't uh, flunk the, uh, the the farmer ed program. In fact, let's just take it right out to the whole end over here. I'm gonna have to redo the end anyway. Let's. Um. All right. Boy, that's a lot of work. Boy, that is. I just realized what I'm doing here. All right. So we're gonna have to G V G V. Okay. Those worked in conjunction. Okay. And then. G, V, B. Is that enough? I don't know. Did we turn on that other cultivator? I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it okay. The middle one, though, had... Okay, we are running. Okay. It, it had moving parts, so I didn't know if it needed me to actually turn it on manually or not. I'm going to run this path, and I'm going to run that path. I'm going to I'm going to assume that we're okay after that. All right, so we want to be. Let's just hire, and he'll lift everything up. Then I'll unhire. <laughs> That's a little cheaty, but it worked. F and H finish their their tasks. Okay, well, let's get F or H. Hmm, I'm thinking F. Working here. Um. Actually, you know, if I turn you on here, you should be able to handle this. So I'm kind of initiating you right here at the beginning of it. So I'll hire you out. You didn't like that. Um, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Yeah. Boy, D, H, C, and A are all, and J are all freaking out on me. Okay. I think I'm a little too far into the grass. How does that sound? Because the implement sticks out further than the tractor. All right, back up a little, and can I hire you now? No. <sighs> okay. Well, let's do it the hard way. I want G and V. That drops everything in. B. Don't need it. Ah, that's what I missed last time. And then G and V and B run. Make sure we go all the way to that edge. I'm going to kind of sneak off to the left a little bit. I'm a little concerned about not riding that edge yet. There, that's better. Five miles an hour, four miles an hour. Yeah, I see the back wheel slipping once in a while. It's hard to look over there and see that I'm steering correctly. Going uphill doesn't help either. So trying to steer out little by little. Yeah. Come on, get out there. Problem is if I turn as I turn right, the uh, you know the equipment swings off to the left, so it makes it even worse. That will be fine right there. If I hire you out, will you finish and turn around? I think this one will no longer be brain dead. The question is, will we hit that one little strip there, the one-third mark of the field? Let's stay that long, and we're going to head over and talk to the helper over in the driving the warrior. We good here? I think we're good here. Okay, let's peek at this before we leave. He is not counting it as... Oh, it is, it is. Needs plowing is going away. Okay, it's working. Good, good, good. It just doesn't work while I'm watching it. I have to toggle out and back in. And then it, it corrects itself. I wait a little while, we'll start seeing a red line again. Yeah, right there. Okay, it's not running real time. But it is working. Okay, that's great news. We might do that after we mow field 11 next time. Go back in, plow, 
and reseed all in one step and uh, finally have that showing as plowed as well. I like that. All right, can you handle this? We're gonna redo that whole area, but she can handle it. Works for me. Okay, Uber. There we go. All right, you could not handle this one. <laughs> oh, you can't get good help these days. Guess we're just gonna have to do it ourselves. Right about there. Now, what do I need over here? This is all one implement, so VB is good, right? Yeah, okay. All right, we'll drive this one, then we'll switch it over to grass. We got plenty of seed left, and we'll get this one done. We could next time bring a, a sprayer over and spray these two areas. I like that. Let's do that. Now, now I can't drive this and look at the uh, the map the to see if field what was that one nine is I know he's plowed I don't remember if he is fertilized now, did I veer out of that no we're still good okay all right so that's there and pop into here okay so that guy is plowed but he needs fertilizing he's not uh, blue Okay, so if we get that one right now, we could fertilize both next time. I think that's a good plan. And we'll pick up a new fertilizer too, something that's a little bigger, a little more fun. We'll see how that works. Um, what I wanted to see was, I want to see how this works. Does it zoom in where my mouse is? Kind of not. No, okay. We've got a little tiny miss right there. That needs plowing. Okay, that's at the end of where I did it, and he came in. Apparently, he did have a little problem with the building or something and missed a spot. Otherwise, everything looks planted. And, yeah. Let's go find that spot. Just to make it done. Then we'll come back and do this site. wonder if I were to just pick this path and go get some speed up I'm just going to jump into here and does it show me where I'm at kind of okay so that's off to our right that didn't really work but it gives me an idea of where to start looking do we see it anywhere thinking that, well, let's stop right here. Where is it on the map from where we are right now? Uh, we're over here. Hmm. That doesn't help. Is it obvious? I mean, I'm thinking it's right over here. Okay, am I straining gnats here? I probably am. Let's call this one done. Okay, let's get over and do the grass. Be nice to have perfection, but life doesn't have reflection or perfection in re you know, real life. Things do get missed. Let's call that good. So let's... How best to deal with this guy? Let's not... Wow, a long time to un unwind that turn. Let's do the diagonal last. kind of like how the plow created the design in there. Let's see what this guy does as a hired out help. Alright, something like that. Switch over to grass right there. Hire you. good there at the edge. Let's see what happens here. Make sure he's not going to pull into the roadway. That's kind of the reason we did all this. Well, no. We did this to keep the plow from, but the other plow probably did pull into the roadway, huh? 
Oh well. That'll be fine. But I think he's going to handle this pretty well. I'd say well enough that we're not... I just saw something happen over there. Something flashed up on the screen. Well enough that we're not going to have to redo the diagonal. Except maybe the very end. Hmm. Huh. Let's head over and see what's happening here. Yeah, you're still kind of freaking out on me. Hmm. Let's start over at this end again. Is there any reason to go back the other way? I mean, it's less efficient. But it might not fail. I'm kind of thinking we will. Just so we don't have to babysit this as much. Alright, hire you. Nope. So much for that idea. There's something wrong with this field. Something that... We missed a whole section there, huh? Something probably has to do with it going you know, switching ownership. That's going to be my guess. There's a little stretch right there. I can tell it's not plowed. So let's um, hire this one out. No, we're not doing it. He's just taking it off doing his own thing. Wow, I'm going to have to manually do this. One of the advantages to having these perfectly square little fields... Uh, now, can I talk and do all of this? No, I can't. Alright, G, G, I want V. And then I want G, V, B, G, V, B. Okay. And then the forward, not the backward. Anyway, one of the advantages to having these... Uh, these... Let's see, one more thing. Z. No Z. Pause here. Uh, Z. I'm on the right one. Really? Okay. We've got the markers there, but they won't go out. Okay, I'm on the sower. The sower, lift sower, select, change tool, stop engine. We turn the engine off. And that changes things, but still doesn't uh, give me a Z. Okay. Buttons don't do anything. Well, that's a little frustrating. I know he's there for that reason. Oh, that's the cultivator. I am on the sower. Aha. Uh -huh. There's always a reason. Z, there you are, ridge marker. Okay. That's what I wanted. Alright, make sure you are on B and G, B. <laughs> You'd think I'm reading music here. Go. Alright. I have no idea what I was saying. I kind of do. Anyway. Some of the newer mod maps have got... I gotta do it from out here. Have got... Um, yeah, I'm missing little spots, unfortunately. Um, have got larger fields that are round in all different shapes. Just kind of follow the contour of the land and, and uh, make for some you know, very interesting, more realistic areas. That is so odd how it is causing that black to appear there. That really is. And it's leaving it in random places. I wonder if it has anything to do with why the helpers having problems. Or if one of these implements are a little bit bugged. Huh. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, how are you out? That brings everything up. Except for that guy. G, front, V. Okay. Is that supposed to be down? You know, I don't know. Does this guy do anything on his own? I mean, we've got a mechanism in there that does something. I wonder if he acts as a, uh, a sprayer. A caster. I don't know. Anyway... These fields are square, small and square, and predictable, so that things always work. 
with the hired help. And yet, this time it's not working. Can I hire you? I can. Okay. I cannot. Okay. With this one, I'm going to hold off on continuing. Because he is obviously going to try to mow the grass here or something. That's not happening. Okay, so let's toggle back over here. Finish this episode over here on this side. So I don't know if it's the new Kuhn implements that the hired help is not uh, talking well with, meaning we're probably going to have a, uh, a quick little update coming out tomorrow on all of the problems that this is causing, or if that particular field's got a problem. Because this has worked pretty well over here. I wonder if I brought those implements over here if, this, if they've worked just fine don't know but you get a good sense of what's happening over here grass is there and what was it soybean over there we've now got 24 and planted in barley so that's I'll, I'll go ahead and finish that after this episode get that all cleaned up and I'll be curious to see if the next round with that equipment works properly. Maybe it has something to do with with this issue right here. When you buy a field that you've worked on before and you got all of these edges that are kind of you know messed up and not uh, not real. You know there's partial plowing and partial fertilizing and they're all interacting with each other and some of it didn't get cultivated up because the you know the the crops are still growing at the edges I wonder if that has something to do with really messing up the calculations of the hired help so i'm going to make that guess meaning he might work perfectly well in 11. in fact 11 would be a good test for the same setup that messed up in 24. there's no confusion on the on the edges over here in 11. So maybe 11 won't cause that problem. We'll have to test that theory. But anyway, let's probably call this one done. This is not Noble Rambler driving. And uh, I will, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.